I'm always a little bit nervous to do videos like this talking about my future plans because what if it fails? What if it totally flops and I end up looking like a doofus? Like what kind of happened um, a couple of years ago when I told everybody I was going to start a marketing agency for doctors and then COVID happened like the next couple of weeks and, and that business totally failed. But I'm going to tell you anyway, because for one thing, it keeps me accountable. So if I don't follow through, then I end up looking like a dork in front of all the people that I told that I was going to do this. And secondly, because you can copy me. And in fact, I want you to copy me. Copy me as blatantly as you want, because I'm actually quite confident that this strategy is going to work, barring some crazy cataclysm like COVID happening again. And I want you to be successful. I want you to copy me, to learn from me, and to be successful because I like having a network of successful people. So we can hang out and talk about business together. Anyway, let me start with some background before I get into the actual plan itself. Now, the, the main focus of this plan is the fact that attention is the new oil. Attention is the most valuable commodity in the new economy. This concept really kind of broke through my thick skull when I found out about Andrew Tate, who is a guy that got really, really good at getting attention on the internet through social media platforms like YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. And so now it's pretty much any video that has the guy's name in it, it just like rockets up to a million views overnight. And because of that, he makes a ton of money. He has his main product, I think, is just like a $50 recurring subscription. He makes it cost $50 a month. And he has, I, I think, um, last I heard, over 200,000 people enrolled in this $50 a month product. So basically he's getting $10 million a month just on autopilot every single month. And as his audience grows, that number grows as well without him really having to do much of anything apart from just making videos. And actually, if you look at some of the biggest companies in the world, they're doing the same thing. They're monetizing attention. If you look at Google or Facebook, like what product do they offer? Well, they, their offer is attention. Like I can pay Google for ads that will get attention or I can pay Facebook for ads that will get attention, which is what I have been doing. Uh, that, that's the bulk of my business up till now. But if you think about Facebook and Google themselves, they are getting the attention and they are getting paid for that attention. They don't have to pay really anything to get the attention and they're getting paid for that attention. If you look at um, Tesla, you know, is, is one of the biggest companies in the world now. And why is that? Well, a big part of that is not just that they sell a physical product, that they sell a car, but because their CEO has become a master of getting attention. Their CEO is practically a celebrity. So with this newfound understanding in mind, here is my three-step plan. Step one is to focus on content. Focus on creating content and specifically on YouTube because that's what I'm already somewhat good at, what I've already somewhat figured out. And there's nothing wrong with other other content platforms. You know, people do really well on Instagram and TikTok and various other pr platforms, but kind of YouTube is my preference for a few reasons. Um, I'm gonna focus on long form content, right? So longer videos, whereas a whole bunch of people are doing shorts, uh, they're doing TikTok, they're doing Instagram reels. And I do a little bit of that stuff too, mostly just kind of for fun. Like when I have a little idea that strikes me that I can describe in 30 seconds, like I'll put a YouTube short and I'll put it on TikTok and stuff. But that's my, the, the focus of my strategy is going to be on the long form content for a couple reasons. Number one is that it tends to attract a higher quality of prospect, right? For what I do, I want people that have a bit of an attention span. Right. Whereas somebody that's on TikTok that's looking for videos for five seconds at a time, chances are is not going to have the same attention span as somebody that's on uh, YouTube that's watching two hour long podcasts. So I prefer the people that have an attention span and nothing against the people that view shorts like I watch shorts sometimes, too. It's cool. Um, you got to be careful of that kind of stuff because you get your brain into this pattern of like needing constant stimulation, which makes it very, very difficult to do anything useful in your life because then you can't focus, right? You can't focus on the deep work that needs to be done to be successful in just about anything. So I highly recommend that if you're in that kind of addictive pattern, um, I mean, if you are, you probably already stopped watching this video a long time ago, right? Because we're a few minutes in, but uh, just in case you get to that point in the future, like 
watch yourself. Be aware of, of your habits because if you get into that addictive pattern, it makes it very, very difficult to do anything of value. But anyway, I'm focusing on the long form content because there is a higher quality of viewer. And secondly, because it gives me more time to express my ideas and give people an idea of why they should even listen to me in the first place, right? Like if somebody is going to buy a product from me, they have to be pretty well convinced that I'm worth buying a product from. And it's hard to communicate that in 30 seconds, right? I need more time to build trust and show that I actually have the expertise that I say that I do. I'm also going to do a better job of focusing my content on you, the viewer, on what you want to see, what you're interested in. Whereas in the past, it's kind of been just whatever popped into my head, whatever I thought was interesting at the time, that's what I made a video on. Whereas I'm going to be more strategic and making videos that I think that you will actually be interested in, and I'll probably ask you for your opinion, which, by the way, if you have something that you'd like to learn from me, feel free to leave it in the comments of any of my videos. I always look at my comments. And so there are basically two big goals that I have with uh, making my content viewer focused. Number one is to get people to click on it in the first place, right? It has to be intriguing. I have to have a thumbnail and a title that people say, ooh, I want to learn about that or I want to see that. And secondly, it has to keep attention, right? You have to keep on watching the video until the end. So in order to do that, um, I'm not going to like beg you to watch my videos to the end just because that helps the algorithm or something, which it does. But really what I have to do is provide content that's worth watching, right? I have to keep it interesting. I have to make it useful. I have to make it entertaining so that you actually want to watch till the end because it's worth your time to do so. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually separate my content into two separate channels. So if you've been following me for a while, you know, I have a lot of like business and success principles, but then I also have a lot about spirituality and religion, both of which are very interesting to me, both of which are related in a lot of ways. However, I realized that not all the people that are interested in business and success are interested in religion and not all the people that are interested in religion are interested in business and success. So I'm going to split those into two separate channels. And again, they're intertwined, right? Because business and money are spiritual concepts at their core, and you have to create yourself spiritually in a way to be able to provide value to others. Value, again, which is a spiritual concept. And then on the other hand, if you care about religion and spirituality, well, if you can make yourself successful in business, number one, you don't have to be subject to corporations that hate your religion. And number two, you can make a much greater impact in the world for good if you have some money to do it with. If you have attention, you have a platform that you can do it with. So there will still be some overlap, but I'm going to focus the primarily spiritual stuff in a spiritual channel, which I, I'm going to create a separate channel for that. And I'm going to make this channel specifically for the business stuff. So if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I'm, I'm sick of hearing all that silly woo woo spiritual stuff. Um, well, you're going to be happy about that. And if you're one of those people that's sick of hearing about all that money and business stuff, then um, you can go follow my other channel and you're going to be happy as well. But for the purpose of growing my channel, the reason that I'm doing this is because if I have half of my audience is interested in half of my content and the other half is interested in the other half of my content, well, basically the signal that this sends to YouTube is that, wow, when I, I put out a new video, I only get half the views that I should get according to my number of subscribers. And they say, oh, well, that must be kind of an uninteresting video because only half of the people are watching it, right? And so it kind of sends the signal to the algorithm that my videos are not so good and so it doesn't share my videos. So I'm going to keep it on topic. I'm going to get good at getting attention. I'm going to get good at keeping attention because that's what the algorithm ultimately wants to see. And that's what creates growth um, in the algorithm environment. So that's the first step of my master plan is to focus on content. Step two is to have a product with big benefits. And if I can't, if you can't read that, I'm sorry, I can barely read it myself. <laughs> have a product with big benefits. So if you've followed me for a little while, you know that my main product up until now has been a program on how to become a data analyst, which is a very attractive proposition for a lot of people because it's a, as jobs go, it's a pretty darn good job. I mean, I started making 70,000 a year um, and really doing not that much work. Honestly, like kind of sitting around um, with a whole bunch of time to do stuff like building a business, 
on the side. And so for somebody that's making like 40K a year doing something that they hate to get a better job and make 30 grand a year more, I mean, like, let's say they have 20 more years in their career. Well, that's $30,000 extra times 20 years. It's $600,000 over the course of their career. So that is actually a pretty big benefit. However, what I'm starting to do is show people how to create a lifestyle business that allows them to be their own boss and bring in $200,000 a year. So, you know, I, and I don't, I'm not planning on stopping the data analyst business. That's still very attractive to a lot of people, especially people that aren't really that interested in having their own business that don't want to deal with that kind of uncertainty and such, and would just like to have a steady job. Sure. But on the other hand, I would love to be able to show people how to create the sort of lifestyle business that I've created for myself that's allowed me to stop working for any kind of job at all and make a lot more money than I was making before. And you might have noticed a pattern with my businesses here that I just kind of teach the stuff that I've already done, right? So I was able to get a data analyst job making 70,000 a year based on teaching myself some skills. And so I figured, okay, well, I can teach other people how to do that. And I built a coaching business around that. And then once that coaching business was successful, now I'm looking back and saying, hey, I created a successful coaching business. Well, now I can show other people how to create a successful coaching business because the benefit of the coaching business, you know, $200,000 a year is bigger than the benefit of the becoming a data analyst, like 70,000 a year. And probably this pattern is going to continue, right? So let's say that I get my coaching business to $10 million a year. Well, maybe then I'll look back and say, okay, well, I want to help coaches that are making, you know, they're already making money to get to $10 million a year, right? Even bigger benefit in the future. So it's just up and up and up, right? Because the bigger the benefit that you can offer, the more compelling your offer, the easier the sell. So that's step two of my plan. And then finally, step three is to retarget YouTube viewers. Retarget YouTube viewers. My handwriting is getting worse and worse as per usual. And this part of the strategy, I'm blatantly copying from Myron Golden. So do credit there. And if you don't know what retargeting is, by the way, what retarget means is that um, on the ad platforms, you can show ads specifically to people who have already seen something from you or already interacted with you in some way. So in this case, the YouTube uh, platform is noticing that you are watching my YouTube video. And so I can say, I want to show my ads specifically to people who have watched my videos within the last 30 days or within the last 90 days or something. Because I already know that those people have some familiarity with me and who I am and what I do and what I have to offer them. So I can show them my products via retargeting. I'm not, I'm not pitching my products in the actual content. I'm not pitching my products in the videos themselves, but I'm showing ads to people who have watched my videos who are going to be generally very receptive to what I have to offer. So, um, you know, if you start getting a bunch of my ads, then now you know why. <laughs> and I'm, I'm actually going to give you a fourth, uh, a fourth step in my master plan here. This one is a little bit, uh, a little bit more vague. I haven't, I haven't totally committed to this one yet, but I'm going to show you anyway because I think it's pretty cool. And that is uh, affiliate strategy. Affiliate strategy. An affiliate just means somebody that sells your products for you for a percentage of the sale price. So basically what I'm going to do is once I master this art of getting attention, I'm going to let you guys use my content, repost my content. So you can just copy any clips that you want of my YouTube videos completely for free. I'm not going to try to um, monetize them or anything. And then you can repost my content, never create a bit of your own um, and, uh, you know, unless you want to. And put it on your channels and it can be long form content like on YouTube or it can be short, short form. It can be TikTok, Reels, um, YouTube shorts, whatever. And then I will give you a special link that you will put in your video descriptions linking to my products. And for everybody that buys my product from your link, I'm going to share the revenue with you. So I think this is pretty cool. It's pretty attractive for the, you know, the affiliates because you make, you can make a lot of money with pretty easy work, right? It's literally just reposting and, and doing slight edits 
of my videos and then just collecting the cash when people decide to buy my products. So keep your eye out for that in the future if you're interested. Actually, leave me a comment. Just let me know if you're interested in that. It's not ready yet. It's not set in stone yet, but I will let you know when it is. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to say, um, one, one actually kind of important thing I forgot to say under point number one, right? The, the YouTube strategy. Something really cool that you can do now is that there are all these competitors to YouTube that are, that are coming out because YouTube has gotten really, really bad about censoring people. Um, like censoring viewpoints that it doesn't like, which I think is disgusting. I don't like that at all. But I mean, YouTube is still the major part of the market share, so I'm still on YouTube. However, what you can do is have um, is you can have some of these other services will automatically copy your videos over to them if you tell them to do so. So I have my YouTube videos are pushing automatically to Odyssey to Rumble, and I think maybe BitChute as well. Um, I don't remember about BitChute, but definitely Odyssey and Rumble. My favorite is Odyssey, and in fact, if you want to see kind of my uncensored videos where I express some um, viewpoints that I think are not going to go over well with the, the uh, dictators at YouTube, then um, I, I'll put those on Odyssey. But anyway, it's pretty cool because I get to be on all those platforms with zero extra work once I've just gotten that integration set up. So like I said, feel free to steal any or all of this strategy and use it for yourself. And if you'd like to know the top four skills that got me to six figures, check out this video right here.